Good evening. I'm Steve Walker, journalist, here to tell the story. Tonight we have a very special show for you. Our guest is a gentleman named Hobie, who claims that, until recently, he was one of Santa Claus's elves. We'll be getting an inside look at the world he claims to have lived in. And by his account, it wasn't all candy canes and hot chocolate. But let's stop there. Let's get the story from Hobie himself. Hobie, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Steve. I wanted the world to hear my story. Well, Hobie, uh, you claim to, until recently, have worked with Santa Claus. Do you have any proof of that? You betcha. Check this out. When we elves are old enough, Santa personally brands us, says we're his forever. Uh, why would he do something like that? I don't know, but I'm telling you, that's not the worst of it. What could possibly be worse? Well, for starters, when an elf turns 18, Santa pulls out all of his teeth so they don't get in the way. Most of us elves have to make dentures if we want teeth. Hobie, you must understand, this is astonishing. It, it, it can't, it's hard to believe. You have no idea how much I wish it wasn't true. You know, there's millions of children out there dreaming of Santa and his sack. We elves live in fear of it. What are the day-to-day -day conditions like? You know, about what you expect. 18-hour days, non-stop, slave labor, basically. In the middle of the shop, there's even this one spot for those of us who don't meet quota. And Hobie, what happens there? If you don't meet quota? Yes. Well, Santa strips you down, chains you to a post, and beats you with his whip. You can't be serious. In fact, that's why Santa's suit is red. Mrs. Claus couldn't get the elf blood out of the old one, so she figured if the suit was red, the blood won't show, and she'd have more time for her elf boy toys instead of laundry. Uh, Hobie, uh... Santa's suit is red with elf blood, and, and, and what about boy toys? Whoa, 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 slow down, Steve. One question at a time. Yeah, Santa's suit is red with elf blood. Lots of it. Okay, a moment ago you mentioned something about Mrs. Claus and her boy toys. Well, you gotta figure, after so many years of Santa being fat, kids leaving cookies out for him, milk, his gear doesn't work quite well. And Mrs. Claus ain't having any of it. Uh, okay, go on, Hobie. Every couple of months, Mrs. C picks out her new favorites to take care of her. I never had to, but I heard it's horrible in there. It takes teams of three just to get the job done. It sounds like the flying Walenda's in there. When they come back, they're never the same. Those poor bastards. Hobie, this is just crazy. It's insane. Oh, believe me, I'm not making this up. It's for real. Okay, does the brutality extend only to the elves? No. Anyone or anything up there is fixing for a beating. Look at poor Rudolph. Rudolph? As in the red-nosed reindeer? What happened to Rudolph? A hundred years ago, Santa's sleigh got fitted with headlights. Oh, no. Yeah, he didn't need poor Rudolph no more. The next day, he was on his dinner plate. Oh, my gosh. He I... even decided to make it a candle-lit dinner using Rudolph's nose. It stayed on for days. He said, I'm not going to put up with some reindeer thinking he's so great. Uh, Hobie, it's just so hard to believe the children of the world lining up to sit on the lap of what you claim to be is, is a monster. Well, at least when they're sitting on his lap, he's wearing pants. Okay, Hobie, uh, we'll stop right there. I, I, I'm not questioning you, Hobie, but in the interest of objective journalism, I think it's only appropriate that we get Santa's side of the story. He's not here, is he? No, no, I Santa's mean, here he's, via he's satellite. He's, gonna... he's here via satellite. Hobie and Santa, welcome to the show. Oh, 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 hello, Steve. Thanks for having me on. I have a reputation to worry about, and I'd like to set the record straight. Uh, please say hello to my girlfriend, Shayna, uh, my special assistant, Shayna. Oh, Hi. Oh, oh. Santa, I'm sure you've heard the allegations from Hobie the Elf. Uh, please share your side of the story. <laughs> it's the same old story. Disgruntled former employee, Hobie was a screw-up. So I kicked this little elf ass to the curb, and now he wants... Payback. Yes, Santa, we saw a brand. Did you physically brand Hobie? Well, of course I did. That's what you do with elves. If I didn't brand him, someone could come along and steal him. And besides, without that SC on his arm, that little s would forget where he works. It's all for his benefit. That doesn't justify branding someone. And what about the other allegations? Listen, Steve, the North Pole is my domain. Nobody tells Santa what he can or can't do. I've got the biggest job on the planet. I serve the entire world. And no ungrateful little motherfucking elf is going to try to stand in my way. And if he does, he gets what he deserves. And another thing, 
Who the f*** do you think you are to question me? Didn't I bring you that fire engine you're whining about when you were a kid? How many of those you think I could make if I didn't crack the whip on those little elf shits? And let me tell you something, Hobie, you little bastard. You can run, but you can't hide. I'll find you. And when I do, you know what's going to happen to you. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, Santa, thank you very much. That's enough of that, Hobie. All of this pain and misery just so the children of the world can have toys. There must be some way to stop this. There is. Bomb the North Pole. Bomb that sadistic bastard back where he came from. Bomb them all! But Hobie, what about the elves, your people? If my people were here and could speak for themselves, they'd say the same thing. Bomb them back to hell where he belongs. Okay, Hobie, I think that's that's enough. Thank you for joining us this evening, and I want to thank Santa Claus as Bomb well. Them. Send the Israelis. Uh, and thank you for joining us. Uh, this is Steve Walker, journalist, here with the story, and we'll see you next week. Merry Christmas.